The story begins with a mental hospital. There was a ward where only a few staff members could go. Because in this ward, patients of the serious type were kept, who were dangerous due to their poor mental state. They can also cause harm to themselves and others. There was a small room near this ward, where the staff members used to sit for rest after getting free from work. After which we see a Dr. Daniel. He had come to this hospital to write his new book to interview serious patients who had become mentally insane due to trauma. Now the doctor of the hospital welcomes Daniel, because he had also read Daniel's book, which he liked very much. The doctor said that some patients are more dangerous than others. But I have put two of my guards on their watch. While Daniel tells the guards to start taking turns to bring those patients. First he calls a girl who killed her mother in childhood. That's why he was sent to hospital. Now the girl had stopped eating. As she arrives for the interview, Daniel begins to record everything. And he asks the girl, tell me the time when you killed your mother. At this, the girl refuses to say anything, and says that I want to die. Hearing this, Daniel puts a knife on the girl's neck and threatens to kill her. This made the girl very afraid, and seeing this, Daniel understood that she was lying about dying. Daniel then tells the girl, I'll help you if you tell me your story. So the girl agrees to tell her story. She says, everyone calls me crazy, but I'm not crazy, and I loved my mom so much. But my mother had started seeing a demonic devil, due to which she used to be very nervous. She further explains that when I was 10 years old, I went to my mother's room out of fear. My mother saw blood on my clothes. It felt like there was anger in the house. Mom started to worry about my little sister, so she started to go to her room. They saw that the stuff was scattered around, and there were roach marks on the wall as well. But when she went to my sister's room, she was sleeping on a perfectly safe bed. But then suddenly a dangerous demon appears in front of them, who went to my sister. In order to save my sister, mom stabbed Damon with a knife, which made Damon tremble. But this was not true, because mom was having hallucinations. They saw what had not happened. Because when I got there, there was no demon. Now when my mom saw me there, she ran after me with a knife to protect me from Damon. Now I feel like she's gone crazy. They are coming to kill me, so I hid in the washroom fearing them. Then my mom saw Damon in the washroom too, so she proceeded to stab Damon. I thought that mom was coming to kill me, so I took her life by attacking her in my defense. Daniel couldn't believe what he was hearing. You are lying because you are not innocent but a mad murderer. After killing your mother, you wanted to kill your sister too, so that I could live alone with my father. Hearing this, the girl panicked and went out of control. So the guards come and catch him and take him back to the ward. After this, Daniel calls an old insane patient, who had been in this hospital for five years. This old patient was found by the police in the forest, who did not know anything about himself. The old patient was very afraid of plastic sheets. Now when the old patient was brought in front of Daniel, here he deliberately starts opening the sandwich packet with plastic wrap in front of him, seeing which the old patient got very scared. Now Daniel wraps her in a plastic sheet and asks her to tell her story. Because of this too, the old man becomes very afraid, and now he agrees to tell him his story. He says, I was on a holiday when a single guy grabbed me and kidnapped me. Then they tied me up with a plastic sheet. But I wasn't dead. The killer boy had begun to take me away for burial. Although people were standing around, no one paid any attention to him. Because it was Halloween night, and everyone thought it was just a killer bug. But then a group came to him, because they liked his killer theme. She really liked the clothes she wore. Then the killer tells them, I want to bury this man now, in which the whole group agreed to accompany him. He was quite impressed with her performance. But when all these people came to the forest, the killer eliminated the entire group. Then the old man was also wrapped in a plastic sheet and left like this. And this is why the old patient is so afraid of plastic sheets, he has bad nightmares. The police had then brought the old man with them from the forest. After hearing all this, Daniel tells her that you are lying, and that it is a story of your own making. Because you want to stay in this hospital with the help of this story, so that you can eat free food and live comfortably here. And yes, now you will get this punishment that you will be wrapped in a plastic sheet for the whole life. Hearing this, the old patient starts screaming. Seeing this, the guards come there and calm him by giving him an injection. He was then sent back to the ward. Daniel then calls his third patient, who came from an island, and has lived in the hospital for the past 10 years. He had actually killed his fiancé's friend, but when his lawyer proved that he had a mental illness, he was admitted to this mental hospital, but here the girl says, I did not kill anyone, rather, we were attacked by zombies, and I also have nightmares of zombies, so now here at Daniel's behest, she also begins to tell her story. My fiancé used to live in a place where zombies lived nearby, my husband was very fond of me, he used to miss me, but one day he saw a girl, who was running away from the zombie, her husband took her to his house, but he had also tied a zombie in his house, in front of which the fiancé threw the girl after a few days, and that's how he died. 
you're lying, Daniel said, actually, you knew that the girl had become friends with your fiancé, that's why you killed him yourself, after which you made the whole zombie story, you even cut off that girl's head to prove your zombie point, right? Hearing this, the girl got very angry, and she started shouting at Daniel, he was about to attack her when the guards caught him, the girl hurls abuses at Daniel and the guards take her away. The next was a girl from New Zealand, who had been in this hospital since the age of 15. She used to do quite the opposite, seeing which her mother got very upset, although she was also treated, but she did not recover, so her mom and dad forced her to be admitted to this mental hospital, the girl was also accused of murdering her friend, but this girl says, I did not kill her, but she herself gave her life, I had just buried him, so all the blame fell on me, when I was 12 years old, my friend suddenly disappeared, which made her mom and dad very upset, one day when I went out with my mom and dad, my eyes fell on a shovel, I liked it so I wanted to buy it, but no one listened to me, but I wanted to buy it anyway, so I started collecting money by stealing and driving mad, as soon as I had enough money, I bought that shovel, now in his room we see the corpse of his friend, she took him out dug a pit with a shovel and buried the corpse in it. Daniel asks, tell me why your friend took his own life. I don't know, she says, I'm not a doctor, Daniel says, whatever it is, you're lying, you killed your friend, you think that you will be free from here by making this story, never. Now the next fifth patient is called, the girl who had done the blood of her mother and sister, and she was in this hospital for the last seven years, but till today she had not spoken to anyone, he had just made this statement, that I was possessed by an evil force, because of which I lost control and killed my mother and sister. Now the guards here don't understand why Daniel is interviewing a non-speaking patient like this girl. Daniel begins to hypnotize the girl, asking her the real story. As soon as the patient is hypnotized, he starts telling the real story. She says that when our dog died in childhood, my elder sister felt that the dog died because of me. I told my elder sister by showing the marks on the sleeve, that I often see an evil spirit, which bothers me a lot. Hearing this, her elder sister searches on the internet about many spirits and rituals and magic, where she came to know that these things happen. Which means she was right. Her sister was convinced as well. He saw that my younger sister, that is, the patient girl, was talking to someone. But when her sister came there, there was no one there except her sister. But at night, when the mother of both of them went out of the house, all the things in the house suddenly disintegrate on their own. Then the little girl went and hid behind a sofa. When her elder sister came there, the child told her that the evil spirit would never leave me. To get her sister out of this situation, her elder sister searches for any mantra and magical alphabets on the internet, and then decides to perform the ritual to send that soul from there. Now these two sisters make a circle and sit in it. Her elder sister started doing rituals by keeping two dolls there but then suddenly the invisible spirit pulls the child out of the circle. But her elder sister still does not stop, she continues her ritual. After which the spirit came out, which was very scary. She was with the little girl now. Before she killed him, the older sister appeared, and now she picked up a stone and hit doll on the head, which also caused an injury to the head of that soul. He got severely injured and ran away. By then, his mother had also arrived. And now at night when the elder sister's eyes opened, she saw that my younger sister was not in her bed. She was very frightened. She goes to her mother to tell her everything, but seeing her mother's corpse in front of her, she hears it. Because someone killed her mother. Just then she sees her younger sister there, she was also in a strange state. He was holding a shovel in his hand, which looked like he had killed his mother. After which she also attacks her elder sister with a shovel. And this scene comes back to the present time. The girl was screaming and repeatedly asked Daniel, what did I tell you? Because she was hypnotized, she couldn't remember anything. Now the guards were very surprised to see her speak. But here Daniel says, this is also a mad killer. So the guards pick her up and take her from there. Now the next patient was called, whose name was Demon and he believes in vampires. Because he was a vampire hunter, a hunter of vampires. He killed the vampires by including with him a fairly dangerous and brave man. And because he killed so many people, he was called insane and imprisoned in this mental hospital. But Demon said all the people I've killed were vampires. Now the guards here were very afraid of Demon, because he was a very dangerous killer. Damon tells Daniel that I will tell my story, but to date no one has believed me. I've also killed a lot of vampires, and there's still one vampire I know. Daniel then asks him about the special man that Demon chose to kill the vampires. So now Demon begins to tell his story. He said the police had arrested his friend. The police asked his name, and he refused to say anything. But the police named him John, and begin to talk to him about the murders that John committed. First he killed a girl while she was sleeping. John had his heart broken. Then he cut off the head of a man and separated it from the body. Later, he also killed a couple. They put both of them in a bathtub, poured acid on them and severely scorched them, and thus they died a painful death. He also killed a man in the same manner. This officer asks him, why did you do all this blood? 
To this, John says, I shed the blood of the first girl because she killed four of my friends. Another man was killed because he killed seven people. They killed the couple because they had killed so many innocent children. I came to know because I saw bones in his garden. John explains that I did all the blood in a way that killed the vampires. Suddenly, something starts to happen to the officer, and then he comes into his dangerous vampire form. Before he can kill John, John kills the vampire officer by inserting a sharp stick into his chest. Now in the present time, Demon tells Daniel that when John was caught by the police, he also took my name. That is why I am in this hospital today. And yes, the main vampire who is the head of all vampires is still alive. Before we could kill him, the police arrested us. Daniel was very impressed with Demon's story. He tells Demon that you are completely different from the rest of the patients, it was very nice to meet you. After which Demon is also sent back to the ward. And now Daniel interviewed six patients. He started to go home, but when he was going, he found all the things of the hospital scattered. The bodies of the two guards were lying on the ground, covered in blood. Someone had killed them brutally. Meanwhile, the six patients whom Daniel interviewed arrive. All the patients attack Daniel, and tie him to the bed in sick clothes. After which Demon came to Daniel to kill him, because Daniel also seemed to be a vampire to him. Now, though, Daniel explains to her that vampires don't really exist. But Demon attacks and kills Daniel without listening to him. But the next moment, we saw Daniel immediately get up out of fear. We realized that everything we had seen so far was just his dream. And now we know the truth that Daniel is not a doctor but a patient of this hospital. He was getting out of control, so the two guards come and calm him down by injecting him. Now the doctor of the hospital comes and starts asking Daniel some questions, and all these questions were the same that Daniel had asked those six patients in the dream. The real doctor at the hospital tells him, you are neither a doctor nor a writer. Rather, you are a patient living in this mental hospital for the last 30 years. Here it was revealed that Daniel was caught in the blood of his mom, dad, cousin and aunt. Now his lawyer did not want him to go to jail, so he put Daniel in this mental hospital. And that's patient number 7. Now it was Daniel's turn to take the patient number. Now the seventh story. Daniel was the most isolated, because he used to harm anyone in anger. The doctor tells him that if you want to stay with the others in the main ward, you have to tell everything the truth. And now with this we see the story of Daniel. When he was with his mother, he saw a car at some distance. When they reached there, the bodies of the couple were lying there. On checking, they found food items in the car. Daniel's mother found a gun near the corpses, which these people keep with them. Daniel's mom forbids him to make noise, because these people were trapped here because of zombies. And if there is noise, zombies can come here too. But in the meantime, a zombie arrives and attacks Daniel's mom. To escape from the zombie, Daniel shoots her with the mom gun. But mom was also bitten by a zombie, so she will also become a zombie now, so she gives the gun to Daniel and says that kill me too. Unwillingly, Daniel shoots and kills his mother. Daniel was repeatedly saying in the hospital that I did not want to kill my mother, I did not do it intentionally. She cried while saying this. Hearing the story, the doctor now tells Daniel, that you are telling your false story this time as always. The doctor tells him that you have come here so that you can escape the death penalty. After saying this, the doctor started to leave, but Daniel, whose condition had deteriorated, started to get angry. He grabs the doctor from behind and starts strangulating him, due to which the doctor dies on the spot. Daniel frees himself with the key from the doctor, and comes out and puts on the doctor's glasses himself. He then disguises himself as a doctor and goes out to check on patients. And with this terrible ending, the story of this film also ends on this.